What's up everyone, I'm GKB, aka The Governor, and today on Gamers News Best, it's the freaking drive to work discussion. Today's topic is all about Marvel teaming up with some AAA studios to make some hero games. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, before we get into the main topic of the video, I want to start off by saying thank you to the community for all the support. You all are fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So, Marvel puts out a teaser trailer announcing a new Avengers game. The teaser shows off you know, a battle of some sort with uh, the mainline Avenger heroes. Um, and at the end of the trailer, the narrator states, Avengers must reassemble. You know, I think the trailer, for the most part, was pretty well done. It's, you know, just a teaser trailer saying, hey, we're Marvel, we're teaming up with these guys, we're going to make some Marvel hero games, and I think the first one, just from the telling of the, tra of the teaser trailer, is going to be about the Avengers. I mean, who knows, maybe all the games are going to be about the Avengers, but uh, that remains to be seen at this point. I would like to think that, you know, they would do some other heroes as well. Um, working with Square Enix and stuff, you have some really good um, high caliber developers there, so uh, I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do. All right, so speaking of developers, we saw in the teaser trailer, Eidos Montreal, which is the guys that do Deus Ex and Crystal Dynamics, which are the developers behind the Tomb Raider series, uh, most recently Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, Deus Ex and, and Rise of the Tomb Raider, fantastic games, uh, great developers, uh, really masters of their crafts, um, and that's good. That means Marvel is going for some big studios. Um, a lot of their previous games, you know, they're hit or miss, and you know, maybe not some of the most high caliber developers they could have went after to do some some really good games. So um, the same with Spider Man. The new Spider Man's coming out, like Insomniac is doing that one and I think Insomniac is like the perfect uh, developer to do Spider-Man. Um, they have a great sense of humor, um, you know, Peter Parker and Spider-Man, um, you know, they have like this funny comedic thing um, when he's Spider-Man, so uh, I'm interested to see that. You know, Mar Marvel put out a presser or uh, an email thing to, you know, the IGN's Game Informer and all, and all those types of guys, um, a press release, saying that they're going to be making you know, multiple triple A uh, superhero games uh, from Square Enix, um, and that's fantastic. Uh, I think Marvel has seen from their cinematic universe and everything, um, they're doing really well, and they want to continue that uh, into, you know, the video games. Uh, so I think Square Enix is a really good choice, so kudos to Marvel for, you know, stepping out and, and getting that done. They also stated that these games are going to have unique stories not tied to, per se, a timeline or a movie. Um, they're going to be like just totally unique, uh, which is fantastic, which I think... I, I don't want to play a game based off a movie um, or a comic book. I mean, there's an argument that, you know, some of the, the storylines in, in the comics, you know, would make fantastic video games and even movies for that matter, and, and they're doing that. But... I like new and fresh things, so I think doing unique stories um, is a good place to get new gamers and stuff on board um, with these franchises as well. So a main focus I want to talk about is in the teaser they said, you know, Avengers must reassemble. And, and from the looks of the teaser trailer itself, it, it looks like the mainline Avengers like Iron Man, Thor, um, the Hulk, you know, you know from the the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, got into this battle, it looks like they lost, um, you know, maybe Earth's in dire straits right now, and uh, I'm hoping anyway, and, uh, you know, I don't want to hear you guys take on this too, but I'm hoping that they're new Avengers, like, we have the Cinematic Universe to see the Iron Mans and all that kind of stuff, I really want to see some new characters, like, Marvel has vast amount of characters and the Avengers alone has had spin-off books like uh, the new Avengers and all the other type of books that they can really 
bring some of these uh, other characters to the forefront and have some really good team ups and some more unique um, characters to play um, as far as powers and, and all that kind of stuff that would really be cool to play off of each other and you know see in battles and all that kind of stuff so I hope um, and if you think about it it's gonna be really hard to get you know Robert Downey Jr. and, and some of these mainline actors to do all the voice acting for you know Tony Stark and, and all that stuff in the, in the thing so I would say from that perspective they're probably going to do some different Avengers maybe have cameos and stuff from uh, maybe the mainline uh, Avengers right now um, that would be cool to, to tie back into and stuff like that but I hope they go in a different direction altogether to tie into that too like what you see with like the new Marvel and, and the way they're going we've also seen a lot of new characters picking up the mantle of, of some of these heroes like we've seen like Hawkeye um, killed you know Bruce Banner so essentially the original Hulk is gone but we have a new Hulk that, that's taken its place and, and all that kind of stuff so th we could still see and there's a possibility that we could still see you know Hulk Iron Man and all of them just in their different versions in the Marvel Universe which I think would be kind of refreshing um, and interesting to see how their dynamics and personalities play together um, in an Avengers game done by these great developers. Um, when you talk about like Crystal Dynamics and you've seen Rise of the Tomb Raider, they're very action, um, gritty, uh, you know, kind of games and I think plays well um, to maybe some really good stories um, that they can do. The last part I want to talk about um, before we end the vlog here, um, and it's a point that I've kind of talked about a few times, and that is seeing developers, you know, you got like Eidos and you got Crystal Dynamics, you know, they have some franchises that they work on um, that essentially are money makers, let's be honest, like you got Tomb Raider and Deus Ex, which did pretty damn well, and departing from that to do some new refreshing IPs um, I mean there's an argument to be said well it's a Marvel it's not really new IPs but it's something they haven't done really um, so it's nice I would like to see more developers like Coalition you know 343 um, I mean even you know the Uncharted guys uh, Naughty Dog I mean they're doing Last of Us 2 and all that kind of stuff but you know they did Last of Us already I, I want to see them do like different cool interesting things um, because these these developers are masters of their craft and they can do something really nice and I'm really happy to see like Crystal Dynamics and uh, Eidos doing uh, some new stuff so I'm super excite excited about this I, I think I think Marvel couldn't have picked better studios um, they're very action adventure type studios that works well with superheroes so I hope we get to see some more at E3. Highly unlikely because they're probably just in early development. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Maybe they'll have something. Some kind of, like, teaser. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe show off a couple characters that might be in the, uh, the story or something. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Drive to Work discussion. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Marvel moving, you know, their iPad their IPs and iconic characters to some of these big AAA studios to make some fantastic games. I think it's a really cool thing. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's bad? You don't care? You want more Tomb Raider or Deus Ex? I don't care. Just let me know. Please share and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for checking out the video. This is GKB. I will see you in the next one. And as always, take care of your fellow gamers.